grand old partisan, celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I honor Nina Otero Warren, born near Albuquerque, October 23, 1881. After studying at a prestigious college in St. Louis, she moved to Santa Fe when President William McKinley appointed her cousin territorial governor. While 12 years the city's school superintendent, Otero Warren upgraded facilities and increased teacher salaries. Her stance on bilingual education was innovative for the time. Quote, English language instruction in the classroom, teacher sensitivity to different cultures, Spanish instruction through the arts. This conscientious activist led the way toward New Mexico ratifying the 19th Amendment for women's voting rights. Her grassroots approach included participation by Hispanic women. In 1919, a Republican governor named her to the Board of Health. In 1922, Otero Warren won the GOP nomination for Congress, but lost the general election. Later years focused on promoting the cultures of Hispanic and Native communities. Otero Warren wrote two books and numerous magazine articles. She also managed a ranch and was a realtor. In 2022, the U.S. Mint will feature her on a 25-cent coin as part of the American Women Quarters series. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.